show again and I will be showing you in this video how to make your eyes look bloodshot or more red like a vampire from um, Twilight. I will be using the same picture that I just made uh, the previous video that I uploaded right now and I will be using uh, this one because I it would take too long for me to do the whole process at once so I'd rather just break it up into sections. Uh, this part would be the eye part. So what we're going to do is since we already have the picture done with the vampire paleness, we're going to be going to our eyes. We're going to be zooming in. Sorry, my computer's a bit slow today. Um, we're going to try to zoom in. Um, okay, so that's not working. We're going to wait a little bit. Okay, that's good. And the picture doesn't have to necessarily be as um, clear or whatever the word is. It just has to be, the eye has to be visible. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our pass tool right here. And we're going to set it on design. And we're going to be, <coughs> sorry. We are going to be outlining the whole eye with our pass tool. We're gonna make a circle, a circle around the eye, and we're gonna be fixing it so it looks like a circle, so it doesn't look all boxy. And once we do that, there's not really a really defined black part right there, so we're not going to paint in the pupil. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to shift, push shift on our keyboard, and left click, and that will make a new selection for the eye or the past two. Um, we're going to be doing the same thing to our eye, to our, our other eye, excuse me, and we're going to go to our toolbox and there should be a selection from path. If there is not a selection from path on your toolbox underneath your past edit mode and your polygonia or I'm not sure how to say that word, but if you don't have that, then you can go to select um, if this thing will let me select from path and it should do the same thing as selection from past does such as the marching ant okay what we're going to be doing now is we're going to take our paintbrush and we're going to be um, getting a red color any red color would do I would just prefer like a bloodish color and that would be about that dark and we're going to click OK and we're going to take our brush, and since we have it right now currently in the circle fuzzy mode, we're going to be taking our regular circle 11 brush, or circle, um, whatever circle color that is, or brush that is, circle 19. And it doesn't matter what number it is, it just matters if it's solid or fuzzy. We're going to set our thing rather big so we can color it in. And now we're going to um, go to our layers box, create a new layer. Um, sorry, you won't be able to see it. So you left, right click on the layers, um, new layer, and you're going to pick new layer. Once that happens, I'm going to move this a bit. And once that happens, we're going to get this new layer box, and we're going to name it eyes. We're going to make sure it's in transparency. We're going to click OK. Sorry, I'm going a bit fast, but um, I'm trying to get all the parts together or today. Um, we're going to be coloring in, coloring in the eyes like this, and that's just what we're going to do. Okay, now we're going to take our layer box and we're going to put it on overlay. And we're going to zoom out so we can see the results of our thing. It doesn't really, you can't really tell on her. But if you can't tell, then um, just make the color a little bit less darker. So get it about a color like that bright right here, if you can see it. Um, other than that, you can pretty much color over it right now and it'll make it a little lighter and just set the opacity to whatever level you want and that is it 
that was it simple that is one method of um, changing the eye color on a person to make it look like she or he is a vampire um, I will be doing another uh, part or video on for the other part of this um, session or I'm not sure what it's called but this project or um, this topic vampire topic um, Thank you for watching. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe, and if you have any questions or any requests, please comment and or and or message me, and I will be replying as soon as possible. Um, thank you for watching, and that is it. Please stay tuned for the next video.